Hi everyone! Did you know that person who get flexor tendon injury need to undergo rehabilitation program after they got their surgery? There are a lot of exercise that can be done during the rehabilitation period according to the flexor tendon protocol. One of the exercise is Place and hold exercise Okay, let's go! Place and hold exercise is commonly being used for early post-operative flexor tendon repair. So, what is flexor tendon repair? When the tendon are ruptured, the person will get flexor tendon injury. So, a surgery will be conducted in order to repair the tendon. A small incision will be made to locate the tendon and the tendon will be stitched back together. Post-operative rehabilitation exercise is very important for people after flexor tendon injury. According to the Pyramid of Progressive Force Application, place and hold exercise is one of the early post-operative exercise that can be done before the people can do any active movement. So, actually what is place and hold exercise? It is a type of exercise where the injured digit is manually flexed by using the unaffected hand or by the other person. Then, the patients need to hold the flex position by using the muscle strength of the injured flexor tendon. Place and hold exercise is prescribed for patients with two or four strands of tendon repair. It can be performed early from three weeks post surgery. So, what is the purposes of this exercise? It is to prevent joint stiffness, adhesion, or re rupture of the tendon, and also to improve the ROM of the hand after the process of tendon repair. Now, let's look to the procedure on how to do place and hold exercise. First, position the wrist in 20 to 30 degree flexion. Next, flex the MCP joint. Then, passively place PIP joint in partially flexed position by using the unaffected hand. Okay, now, hold the flexed position independently by the affected hand for 3 to 5 seconds. Okay, lastly, release the position to wrist flexion with digit extension. The frequency of this exercise typically prescribed for 10 repetitions 3 to 5 times per day. It can be graded by increasing the frequency and also the repetitions. Interestingly, place and hold exercise also can be done while wearing spleen. The procedures are shown in the picture below. Okay, now let's look at the evidence base of place and hold exercise. Yan et al. in 2008 reported that patients who undergo place and hold exercise showed greater ROM, grip, and pain strength than patients who complete clinic protocol after 12 weeks of treatment. Farazad et al. in 2014 stated that place and hold exercise shows result of greater motion than control passive mobilization for patients with zone 2 flexor tendon repair. Other than that, Nadeski and Powell in 2018 said that place and hold exercise is better than passive flexion because it increased combined PIP and DIP flexion and decreased flexion contracture. Okay, now let's move to the conclusion. So, in a nutshell, place and hold exercise is a type of exercise that is very beneficial to be used during the early post operative of tendon repair and before the person doing any active ROM. It is also proven able in improving the motion after flexor tendon repair. Therefore, 
the place and hold exercise is very good and effective to be used after the tendon repair surgery in order to restore the ROM and also the strength of the hand.